Hi guys, this is Shayna from yumiyarns.com and today we have our last video for the toe up socks class. Um, we're not going to need this guy because we are all done with him now that we've finished our cuff. This was the main color that we used. It's um, Sea Smoke from Suburban Stitcher. It's her sock yarn. And this is the Clean Slate colorway, also from Suburban Stitcher. Uh, Diane was nice enough to send those up for us to do the tutorials. Um, and look at how pretty they knit up. I just love how they turned out together. She's also the featured dyer for the Indie Sock Along for January. So if you haven't joined in, it's only $2 to, per to participate this month. Um, next month it will go up to $4 because you'll get more patterns right away. and kind of goes up each month as we go along through the year. Um, but it's just kind of a fun celebration of indie dyers and sock knitting. So each month you get a new sock pattern and you get to meet a new indie dyer, which is kind of a fun way to do it, right? <laughs> so today is a nice, quick, short, simple tutorial about binding off your toe up socks. So I have my inch long cuff since I'm doing an adult sock and um, there are a few different ways you can bind off your socks. You don't generally want to use your standard bind off because it will be too tight um, because you need this to be able to stretch and move. Um, and a standard bind off doesn't do enough stretching. So you're gonna want to do something like, um, there's a super simple bind off or a super stretchy bind off. Um, there's also, Elizabeth Zimmerman has a sewn bind off that's nice and stretchy. Um, I don't care for either of those. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to teach you the stretchy bind off that I use. It's called the Icelandic bind off and it's great for garter stitch also because it kind of gives you a garter stitch edge along the top. Um, some people don't like the way it looks across the top of the ribbing. I don't really see much of a difference um, and I would rather have a sock that fits comfortably that I know is going to have enough stretch to fit over my feet and that also um, I don't like the flare that you sometimes get with some of the other stretchy bind offs and the Icelandic bind off does not flare out. It just stays same, uh, the same width as your ribbing. So it's kind of nice that way. I know it's just silly because the only time you see that flare is when it's in the sock drawer, but it just bothers me. <laughs> so we're going to work our Icelandic bind off in our contrast color that we used for the cuff and the heels. Um, if you need tutorials on how to do the rest of the socks, so the toes, the heels, the foot, everything, I've got all of those and I'll link them below as well as up in the corner there. I'll put a little card for you. Um, but yeah, so nice and easy tutorial today for you. It's very, the Icelandic bind off is very similar to a standard bind off. There's just a couple extra steps in there um, that give you that little bit of extra yarn to make it extra stretchy without being weird. <laughs> so to start off, we're going to knit our first stitch and I leave that stitch on the needle, insert my left stitch into that stitch. So I've got it's kind of, it kind of looks like I'm going to purl this stitch, but I'm going to leave it on the needle and scoop up the stitch right behind it and pull it through the needle or through the first stitch and then knit that second stitch. Oops. There we go. It's difficult to do on camera. And then pull it off. And now we're going to leave this one on insert our left needle again, do the exact same thing where we're actually just knitting that second stitch that's on the needle and then sliding it off. And we're just gonna keep doing that till we have bound off all of our stitches and we are all done with our socks. So I'm gonna do a couple here so I can show you kind of what it looks like um, at the top of your sock. And you'll see you kind of get into a rhythm as you go. And if you need to stop in the middle, you just slide the stitch over just like you're slipping it and let it hang out there. 
So you kind of get a little bit of a ribbed, or not a ribbed, a garter stitch looking edge there, um, which I kind of like the way it looks at the top of the rib ribbing. I kind of feel like it gives it a little bit of a finish, um, but that will give you the stretch that you're looking for without the flare. So I'm gonna keep going through and bind off the rest of my stitches and that is about it. I hope you guys have enjoyed these tutorials. I hope they've been helpful to you. Um, if you have questions, comments, leave them um, below and I will read them and respond to you. Um, again, you're welcome to join us in the Indie Sock Along. It's super fun. And uh, that's being hosted over at youmeatyarns.com, but you can also join on Ravelry. Um, I've got the patterns and the everything set up there as well. So whichever you're comfortable with. Um, yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and happy knitting. Have a great day, everybody.